Welcome, I am Megan Maroney. Happy Cyber Monday, everyone. This is the day we celebrate by using old-fashioned technology words like cyber. It's not, as was previously thought, the day everyone shops online because, as it turns out, we are all shopping online all the time, even more often than we are in actual physical stores. That's according to statistics released by the National Retail Federation. According to the NRF's Thanksgiving weekend 2015 Consumer Survey, 102 million people say they've shopped in stores over the Thanksgiving weekend, and more than 103 million say they shopped online. So all those of us in the United States who spent Black Friday enjoying the outdoors and proudly posting about it on social media, instead of shopping in stores, how many of us were also shopping online? Not me, but that is mostly because I am a horrible procrastinator. And speaking of shopping, if there are kids on your list this year, you might want to think twice before buying them connected technology. Today, Motherboard revealed that toy maker VTech left the personal data, including photographs of more than 200,000 kids, easily accessible to hackers. After the break, we're going to talk to Lauren Hawkinson at the Next Web, who has been following the story. But first, here are the rest of the headlines. World leaders are meeting in Paris today to discuss climate change. Among the UN luminaries, tech titans Bill Gates, Mark Zuckerberg, Jeff Bezos, and Jack Ma were there to announce the Breakthrough Energy Coalition. That's an effort to promote and fund zero carbon energy technologies. By covering gaps in government funding and commercializing ideas from public research institutions, the coalition promises to bring affordable clean energy to billions of people, especially in the developing world. And yesterday, Amazon unveiled a teaser ad showing off its prototype delivery drone. It didn't take me long to realize this ad was aimed directly at people like me, busy soccer moms who are not afraid of the sky being littered with Amazon delivery drones if it means that their daughter will stop yelling at them about the fact that the dog ate her soccer cleats. The ad uses simple terms like sense and avoid technology that Amazon says lets drones sense and then avoid obstacles. The, the ad also uses phrases like, soon a family of drones will fill the sky. Note they use the word family and not the scarier but more appropriate word, swarm of drones. It helps the video is narrated, narrated by former Top Gear host Jeremy Clarkson, who I am a big fan of. Don't get me wrong, I'm a fan of drones also, and I am a fan of not lifting a finger to get new soccer cleats delivered to my front yard. But will Amazon Air launch anytime soon, or is it just a stunt to get more people to shop this holiday season at Amazon? And do we need packages delivered by air in 30 minutes or less? What do you think? Are you ready for Amazon drones? Let me know. You can email me at megan at twit.tv or find me on Twitter. I am at Megan Maroney. You can also post to this story on our Facebook page. And in other autonomous vehicle news, a Google patent reveals one way self-driving cars will be able to communicate with pedestrians to tell them that it is safe to cross or to get the heck out of the way. You know that awkward little human dance we do with our eyes when we're at four-way stops? No, you go. No, you go. The patent shows electronic screens mounted on the outside of the vehicle to tell a pedestrian if it is safe to cross. It's unclear if the screens will show a stop sign, a traffic sign, or just text. And speaking of Google's self-driving car project, 9to5Google says that Robert Rose, a former lead software engineer at SpaceX and the head of Tesla's autopilot team, now works for Google. According to his updated LinkedIn profile, Rose is a software engineer at Google Robotics, but it's unclear whether or not he will be working on the self-driving car project.